Hi everyone, I'm Sundra 9 Welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Zombie nimble, zombie quick. As you're going to have to deal with Dolphin Rider zombies and pole vaulting zombies. So far, obviously the tall nut will help you a lot here. We'll also take the pumpkin, because that'll help. And uh, lily pads to put stuff on. Now it's whatever you would like to take. Um, I'm going to take snow peas, twin sunflower, I'll take repeaters, squash, and. Hmm. What else to take? Good question. One more. Um, I'll take... Because you're going to jump over a potato mine. I'll take a pea shooter for uh, quick damage. Zombie nimble, zombie quick. Now, as you can see, everything is sped up. So, hopefully, you have a uh, kind of an idea of what you want to do. It's not just the zombies, <laughs> which is interesting. I uh, was just gonna squash the zombie. We'll, put a, we'll plant a pea shooter. Uh, this is very, very interesting just because everything goes super fast. <laughs> Here, I have a pea shooter. <laughs> really bad. So, you're going to feel kind of hectic the entire time. Here, I have a squash. <laughs> have a pea shooter. Sunflower. You need a pea shooter. Ah, it kind of makes it hard to click on the sun sometimes. You need a tall nut. Put that there. Oh, that didn't go as well as I wanted it to. <laughs> I need a lily pad. Yeah, this is just really crazy for me. Because I can't click on everything fast enough. He drove his zombies is approaching! Put a tall nut. <laughs> Snow pea. That's why I like snow peas for this, just because it slows them down a little bit. Here, have a tall nut. Another snow pea. And they seem to have more HP too. I put a tall nut down. Please get rid of that. Pumpkin. Repeater. Tall nut. Repeater. Pumpkin, tall nut, and you see this level's going to last a while too, so. Mm -hmm. 
Huge baby zombies is approaching. Another repeater. A repeater. We're just gonna put a whole bunch of repeaters down now. And yes, I've kind of abandoned the twin sunflower. <laughs> Pumpkin, tall nut. This needs a repeater. And we're just gonna send a lot of repeaters now. Uh, sure, a pumpkin. So everything just goes super fast. So hope you're ready. <laughs> Diamond, I definitely want that. Pumpkin. Money, money. You gotta be quick on picking everything up because it's gonna disappear really fast. And repeater. I wish I had a spike rock or something to put up here. Here's Raven's eyes is approaching. Final wave, thankfully. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna pick up the money now. And that's it. That's that minigame is a little too crazy for me. See, even the, uh, you getting the trophy and everything is sped up, so. <laughs> That's just a, a little too crazy. But, uh, it does go fast. <laughs> and then from that, whack a zombie. Which you will be whacking zombies with the hammer. You remember this? Crazy Dave gave us a uh, mallet, but this one's gonna be more difficult than the mini game we played back then. Same thing applies. You want to use the Grave Buster to get rid of of a uh, tombstones. That way, more zombies don't show up. Or you decrease the amount of zombies there that will show up. Put it that way. Okay. But this is surprisingly a change of pace compared to what you just did. <laughs> you wouldn't think so, but it actually is. <laughs> Get rid of this one. Just make sure the zombies don't eat the Grave Buster while it's uh, working. Get rid of this one up here. Now we start getting the Conehead zombies. Remember, you gotta hit them twice. one up there. Great. Know which one I'm going to get rid of? This one. More sun. Good. And that's what I like to use it on. I like to use it for grave busters. You can just put a whole bunch of potato mines if you would like, or just keep it for ice shrooms to freeze them. And now, more Conehead Zombies. We're about a little more than halfway through. 
a nice challenge is to not use uh, grape busters. Now the zombies are gonna move a little faster. And there's a Buckethead zombie. Well, they're gonna get out of the ground faster. The Buckethead zombie obviously takes three. Go away. <laughs> I don't like the ones up front, obviously. So you will be clicking a lot. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just get rid of that one. Now they're going to move even faster. This is where uh, having a couple of potato mines could come in handy. And a whole bunch are going to show up. And also the ice shroom to help you. Final wave! And that's it. The only problem with the potato mine is, I don't find time to put down a potato mine. <laughs> By the time you have a lot of sun, the zombies are coming out so quick that you just can't put down a potato mine. So, I guess if you ice shroomed and then put potato mines, if you're really fast. But I just like to use grave busters and lower the amount of zombies. Last stand, Zombotany 2, Walnut Bowling 2, and then this. Um, let's do, I'm actually not going to keep going like I have been, and I'm going to do Zombotany 2, because this one's actually tough. This could be the, uh, the first lose. Zombotany 2, Pea Shooters. Jalapeno, which will wipe out a line. Squash, which if it gets near something, it'll squash one of your plants, and that's it. Tall nuts, which of course take even more damage than the walnut. And a uh, Gatling pea, which shoots four peas. All highly dangerous. Sunflowers, walnuts, tall nuts, squash... Pumpkins. Twin Sunflower. Snow Peas. Lily Pads and... Choices, choices. Repeaters. Ready, set, plant. Do, 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 do. Whew. Okay, after those last two, which go really hectic, I at least breathe a little bit, but this will be hectic all on its own as well, for different reasons. Come on, I need a... Hit the walnut for me. And you see it's still shooting the piece, so it's doing even more damage. Squash. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I kind of picked a very slow startup. Because I'm going to be using snow peas, but hopefully it'll work out. Oh, darn. We'll put a tall nut there. And this sunflower will go down. Well, no, I can get a... Oh, no, I'm really stalling here. Oh, now I need something. Squash. Tall nut. Walnut there. Okay, snow pea. I need enough sun for a pumpkin. Squash you. No pee here. I said the toughest part here is going to be the very beginning. Um, now we've got this to deal with too. Ugh. Did not place that in the right place. Great. You can be squashed then. You know what? I'm just gonna let you all go. I'm just gonna gather as much sun as I can. That's how I'm going to do this. Except here. You can have a snow pea. And I'm just gonna use the lawn mowers to my advantage. Peter. Walnut. Huge Raven Zombies is approaching. There's Tall Nut, <laughs> which we're just going to squash out of existence. Come on, I need one more. Snow Pea. There's a Walnut and a Tall Nut there. Yikes. Squash are really good to get rid of the uh, walnuts and tall nuts. Okay, now we can just get one more snow pea. Good. Not too bad. Put a pumpkin there. Squash this one. And then we're really gonna need some repeaters. Oh great, here comes a squash. 
Yeah, remember, you're gonna have to deal with that, too. There's a jalapeno. There goes that whole line. So you see what I mean? The special zombies just make this really tough. I'll put down a twin sunflower. I need something up here to fire. Snow pea. There's a Gatling pea who's going to do a ton of damage. We're going to get rid of him. Or you can do way too much. And there's another one. Great. Throw that down there. It's just a huge battle of attrition. Gatling there. A walnut in front of this tall nut who's really damaged. Shoot, this this stage I think will really test your skills. I don't have great advice for this one. Just Kind of use everything that you've learned from either this LP or your own time playing. Use the setup you like. I do recommend some cheaper plants. And definitely walnuts and tall nuts and pumpkins. Because you're gonna need you're gonna need the defense. Yikes! Another walnut tall nut combo. Uh, place you here. There's a Gatling P. Okay, this is gonna go on too long. We'll just get rid of them. You need a snow pea. Place that tall nut. Pumpkin. Walnut. That did not go the right way. There we go. If you can get rid of the jalapeno before it explodes, that's a really good idea. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, the squash didn't go the right way, but we still got it in time, which is good. There's a squash. Just kind of make it go away. That'll get rid of this... Uh, Walnut, but we'll just replace it. Repeater, we're almost to the final wave. Almost made it. The toughest part about this stage is definitely the beginning. Just because you're going to be so overwhelmed from the pea shooters actually hitting your plants and doing damage that it's a lot to overcome. And things still aren't great after that, you just have a better fighting chance. You need to strike a balance between speed and power. 
uh, repeaters are pretty good about that. And the reason I say that is because if you take a whole bunch of high-costing things, you're not going to survive the beginning of the round. But, if you take a whole bunch of just low-costing things, you might not be able to deal with the tall nuts at the end of the round. So, it's kind of a difficult balancing act. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Here we are, final wave. There's some squash to get rid of your defense. They like to do that too. <laughs> but just uh, counter with either a squash of your own or just put something cheap up there. You can even put a sunflower to make them waste the squash. That is an option. And that will do it for this minigame. <laughs> Very tough. I think that one's one of the toughest ones is Zombotany 2. Pogo Party, which I don't like either. <laughs> but I think I'll end this episode here. Next time, we'll do Last Stand. Then Walnut Bowling 2, Pogo Party, and whatever this is. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. I'm Cinder A9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.